That is a great question, the chicken dude. Let me show you. So the short explanation is I make a part, I position that in front of the rig or wherever, um, I add it to the model, and then I make a joint from the root part connecting to the camera part, then I attach the camera to the camera part. If that's if that answers your question, great. Um, but if that doesn't make any sense, or you're like, okay, cool, how do I do that? Uh, let me get more into it. So I'm going to explain two ways that this can be done. Uh, one of them using Moon Animator 2 and one of them using the default animation editor. The reason that I'm giving both is because Moon Animator 2 costs $30. It used to be free. It was free when it first released, and the price just kept raising, and now it's at 30 Uh, I honestly think you can get by without it. I just, I continue using it because I'm already familiar with it. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, first off, how do you do this with Moon Animator, Moon Animator 2? First, we're going to insert a rig. So we're going to use the character inserter, go to presets, click R6. So now we have a rig here. Now we're going to create our camera part. So we're going to move this off to the, off to the side. We're going to use control i to insert a new part we're going to position this in front of the rig it really doesn't matter where you put this i just decided to put it here because consistency uh i'm gonna make it a little bit transparent and one thing i that i like to do is i like to make the front surface of this a hinge so that i know which direction the camera is facing so to do that you're actually going to need to run a command because roblox hid the surfaces from you they're uh, not really supported anymore but uh in this case we're just using it for like a visual thing so it doesn't really matter um so we're going to run this command in the command bar if you don't have this visible it is under view and it's command bar right here so like that if you don't have it open then we're going to run game dot selection colon get parentheses bracket one uh, dot front surface equals enum dot surface type dot hinge. So there we go. Now we can tell, okay, the camera's facing this way right now. So we're going to rotate it right there. And now we have to make a joint. For me, what I use is the motor creator by uh, the Nexus Avenger. This is actually a older version that was published in 2014, but it still works just fine, even though it says it's deprecated. That just means it's no longer updated, but honestly, it doesn't need to be, because it still works. So, to make a new joint, you're going to click on Create Motor 6D once you have this installed, which, if you don't, go ahead and install that. Uh, go to Humanoid Root Part, select that, click Done, then click on the camera part, click Done, so we've set the part zero to the humanoid root part and the part one to the camera part. Then we have to set a pivot point. This is just like the pivot um, where uh, the hinge, or not hinge, but the uh, the joint will rotate around. It's not really important for our case, so you can kind of just ignore this. Um, what I do is I just duplicate the camera part, click done, and then delete the clone part. So now it'll just rotate around the center of this part, essentially. So now we have... A joint here and we can confirm that this is animatable by making a new rig animation and moving this around and we can see oh yeah we can we can uh, mess around with this in the animation editor cool uh, next is how do we actually um, how do we attach the camera to the part so to do that, you're going to need to use a Moon2 file. You can't just use a regular animation file. So we're going to create a Moon2 file. We're going to add this rig by pressing the plus and then selecting it, then press OK. Now we're going to add a camera, and we're going to click on the three dots on the camera object, click Attach to Part, then create a new keyframe by pressing equal sign with the Attach to Part track selected, uh, then press 7, to edit the keyframe, uh, select the camera part, click set, then click OK. And now whenever I press control space, it will toggle back and forth between using that camera. And we can confirm that it is attached fully by making a new keyframe, and we can press play. And there we go, it moves with the camera. We can even rotate it. It rotates with the camera. So that's how you do it with Moon Animator 2. How do you do it with the default animation editor, though? 
So this is a little bit more complicated, but not by much. Honestly, it's still about the same. Uh, first of all, you can create a rig using the rig builder under the avatar tab. Uh, this is how it looks as of 2025. Um, one quirk about this is that it's going to set the primary part to the wrong one, so I'll show you how to reset that in a bit. Uh, I'm gonna use R6, just, just cause. Uh, we're gonna select block avatar, um, but again, this will work with any rig, it doesn't really matter what type of rig you choose. We're going to repeat the same process. Um, oh, and before that, again, primary part is on the head for some reason. This means that you can't animate it, because it's supposed to be the part that is like... Uh, it's supposed to be the part that all the joints are connected to, and the head is kind of like a secondary part, um, so there's only like a few joints connected to just the head. Uh, th I, that explanation didn't really make any sense, but anyway, the point is, it has to be the, the root part if you want to animate it, otherwise it just won't let you do that. So click on primary part, click on the humanoid root part, and then that should do it. Now... Again, we're going to create that camera part, so let's make this, and position this here, then we're going to run that command again, rotate it, I'm going to make it slightly transparent, and name the part camera. And then, once again, we use the motor creator, select the root part, click done, select the camera, click done, then duplicate the camera, click done, delete the duplicate, and close. Now, if we go into the animation editor, and then we select this rig, um, it's for some reason not, oh, there we go, okay. Now we can see that this is acknowledged as a joint because we can move this around and rotate it. Cool, but here is an issue. The default animation editor doesn't support locking your camera to a part. That's not a native feature. So how do you do that? Uh, I actually wrote a plugin for this. This was originally written for Moon Animator because I thought that it wasn't a feature and then it turned out it was. But good news is because I wrote it back then, you can use it for the default animation editor and it'll work fine because it's a completely separate thing. It's not like locked into Moon Animator. Uh, that is the lock camera to part plugin. I just published this a second ago because I figured it would be useful in the scenario. Um, so go ahead and download this lock camera to part. It's made by me, Steven underscore scripts. Once you have it in studio, go ahead and open it using the plugins tab. Click on camera part. Then select your camera part. You can hold Alt, by the way, to bypass the uh, the model check. Then click on this, click Set. And now whenever I press Control Space, it will lock to the camera part. And we can see this even works in the animation editor. And by the way, you can close out of this now. Uh, if we go into here, and then we... Well, I'll reset this keyframe. Then let's go to like 0.5 move this off to the side, let's rotate it, and then if we hit control space, or I think you have to click off this first, yeah, hit control space, then play, and you can see it moves along with the part. So there you go, that is how you make an animatable camera. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into how you can actually apply this to um, an in-game animation because that is a little bit more complicated and that does require actual scripting so that would be a whole different thing but if you're just making like an animation um that you're going to upload to like social media or something you're just going to record it then this will work fine uh and yeah that is all thank you for watching